Only a year ago, it was a distant dream that the BBC would be contacting me directly and inviting me onto national broadcast media to talk about the housing market. But today, for the first time, it's happening. And I'm shitting myself. <laughs> oh well, what can go wrong, hey? What could possibly go wrong? It's Wednesday the 25th of January 2023 and I'm walking down Great Portland Street to the BBC Radio 4 Studios Woven House. Day. I've got to make a record of this day because it's a day I've been hoping for for a long time. So the BBC got in touch with me directly through my Twitter account and asked me to come in and talk about uh, first time buyers and new homes and what I think about new homes and centres and stuff like that. So it's amazing after what seems like years in the wilderness finally being starting to be taken seriously, which is really cool very exciting. I've got to try and be grown up about it and not get overexcited and just be all serious and grown up and responsible and professional and make sure I don't fucking swear. <laughs> Here we go into the BBC building. Probably won't be allowed to film when I'm in there though, will I? Terry Rogan is my mother's favourite DJ, so she'll be really happy that I'm here. Just um, sit where the uh, red mic is. Okay. Um, it's all connected. Um, so you just need to put the headphones on, and someone will speak to you. Okay. All right. All right thanks you. a lot. Bye. Bye. It's exciting. It's actually quite nice being in a studio all my own with no one else here. It's a bit less nerve wracking. Just not remind myself that there are three and a half million weekly listeners. We definitely would not be buying it if they hadn't provided the discount on it. We would not be paying less price because I think it would just be far too risky. That was Nikki Beale. Beale. Well, Charlie Landin is host of a Moving Home podcast. Uh, he's also the founder of bestagent.co.uk and David O'Leary is from the House Builders. Federation. Charlie, if I can start with you, is it true that if you wait a bit uh, and you hang on, the asking price will drop on new builds? In a word, right now, I would say yes. There's a Mexican standoff between sellers and buyers in the new homes market and in the, the secondhand market. And slowly but surely, uh, more and more sellers are coming to realise that actually it's not that first time buyers are being are being belligerent or stubborn it's that the amount they're able to borrow has now reduced since interest rates went up and i think also as nikki just mentioned in that segment um the house builders who are prepared to do discounts are selling properties and the ones who are holding on to their high prices and trying to offer various incentives to get you to pay the high price are struggling to sell so it is who blinks first basically it is a bit yes right david o'leary how are the developers likely to react to people if you like playing the waiting game will they be tempted to play a waiting game with, with them I, I think we're I think we're already starting to see um, as rates um, come back down uh, in the last few weeks, especially, and, and by by no means that's across the board. But there are some lenders now who are uh, reducing their rates and, and all sorts of other things. Um, but 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 yeah, there's there is a market there to sell to, and um, first time buyers are increasingly, as we've just heard, looking at the energy efficiency of of new homes. So. Um, we're starting to see the market come back and uh, looking at the kind of USP of a, of a new build property. So, Charlie, what would be your advice for people interested in buying new builds right now? Uh, don't overpay. So do buy, but don't overpay. And I think some of the uh, incentives that are being offered by, by New Homes Builders, some of them are good, some of them are not good. I think uh, the ones offering deposit contributions, if that makes a difference for a buyer be, between being able to buy or not being able to buy, that's a worthwhile incentive. Obviously, you're, you're, you're paying for it in the price that you pay, but that gets you on into a home. Um, if, you, if developers are offering property upgrades by way of I don't know, an upgraded kitchen or a bathroom or, or, or things that actually add value to the house, that's a worthwhile incentive. But the mortgage holidays and the 
and the and the repayments uh, that are being offered, sort of ten months mortgage free, or we'll pay a mortgage for two years. Those are a terrible idea for the buyers because you're effectively overpaying and over borrowing to make a, 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 a loan of whatever twenty thousand quid to the house buyer that pays you back over two years, and you're paying your interest on your mortgage for the duration. Mm-hmm. So that's not a good incentive. But the the deposit contribution and the property upgrades definitely are. David O'Leary and uh, Charlie Lambden, thank you both very much indeed. It goes so fast and you don't have enough time to say what you want to say, but but uh, that's great. I have popped my national broadcast cherry, as they say. I don't know if they say that, but that's what I'm saying. No rest for the wicked. Straight off to TV production company in Soho to talk about a new TV show, potentially. Yeah. Once you've done it once, it's fine. You're not know to expect next time, so... Now, off to Soho. How about a cool Emery? Hi, I'm here to see Gareth. It's Charlie. Oh, hi. Come in. Come in. Come down the stairs. Thanks. Hi. Hey, you Dan? Dan? Oh, no, I'm Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Gareth is just coming down the down the corridor. Oh, my God, it's bitter out there. Hello, Charlie. Hey, Gareth. Gareth. Hey, Gareth. Pleased to meet yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Come Thanks. through. Cool screening room. Editing suite. These guys behind me, Dexter's, were clients of mine about 20 years ago when they just had five offices in London. And now I think the largest group of agents in London, over 100 offices. Um, no longer my clients. Uh, but uh, they were one of the first customers of one of the first CRM systems that I built. Um, and it was fascinating seeing how they used it and how they grew. Just had a call from the, my agent. So there's a housing association that wants to talk to me about doing some promotion um, of shared ownership schemes now that Help to Buy has ended. And it raises the question about, do I lose my impartiality if I, get, if I accept payment? for promoting some of these things or weird and wonderful things happening in London. Does it actually help? Um, could I find out some more and am I able to get paid for doing the content about shared ownership without losing my impartiality? <sighs> it's been such an intense few days, few weeks, few months actually. I'm now leaving London, trying to go to Devon, and it's cold and it's wet and there are traffic jams and it feels like I'm never going to get home. But what a day! Being on BBC Radio 4, I hope that's the first of many. And I hope the next time I get more chance to talk, I felt like I didn't get enough chance to say anything today. I haven't said it yet, but... I need to thank everyone. I need to thank all the followers of the Moving Home with Charlie channels everywhere for the support, the messages, the bigging up, the encouragement. It's, I can't tell you, every single message I get of encouragement is like a boost, it's like a lift, it tops up my energy tanks a bit. Helps me keep going. Until Best Age is making enough money to start hiring people, start hiring more people and growing the team, I am on my own on the promotion publicity side. The rest of the team are all working on the best agent product, the best agent tech. I might be appearing on GB News on Nigel Farage's show. I don't know why that makes me smile, but well, at the moment, I've got to take any publicity I can get. And I'm happy to talk to anyone and everyone. Anyway, thank you again, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for the support. See you soon. Bye.